U.S. safety regulators call for probe into Temu and shine over deadly baby products. So U.S. safety regulators are urging investigation into Temu and shine following reports that these e-commerce giants are selling hazardous baby and toddler products. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commissioners highlighted concerns about the company's safety protocols, relationships with sellers, and important practices, especially their reliance on low-value direct-to-consumer shipments, which complicate enforcement. Uh, so, Jackson, initial thoughts on that one? Well, I can't remember if we talked about this a couple of weeks back, but it reminds me of that same video from SNL that totally makes fun of these two players and how it, it's basically a sarcastic prod at every single, you know, health hazard that people have discovered through these. But yeah, um, I think in my mind, it's, you know, I'll stay away from the political side of it, but I think the temptation to find the cheapest thing possible to meet your consumer needs is mm -hmm. not always the best decision um and that uh, we have to do our own due diligence and we have to be you know mindful of who we're buying from and not just depend on because it's available somebody has has checked it out and made sure it's safe you know what i mean so yeah yeah i think we predicted this the last time you were on we were talking about how the government can't cover everything they're not checking all these That's packages right. you got to be careful and boom there's the news right there that they are in fact sending over it says um banned padded crib bumpers uh child hoodies with drawstrings which they can choke on um and yeah, those are the only two that it mentions, but essentially dangerous items on the, the platforms that they're finding uh, that when they do actually inspect them, because yeah, they do inspect some things, uh, majority not, but some they do. And so the few that they have checked, they are you know potentially deadly to your baby. I mean, you're going to give your baby a hoodie with strings attached to it that they can wrap around their head and choke themselves and stuff like that. And, you know, of course there's going to be toys and stuff on there. I'm sure that have lead paint. I can only imagine there, they probably exist on those platforms. Yeah. Yep. I, I feel extraordinarily strongly about this. So I, I'm actually kind of keeping quiet because I probably know what you're thinking because I'm thinking the same thing and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Doesn't yeah. Yeah. Be said, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I have zero respect for anyone that would and granted, I, I can appreciate that there's there can be a degree of ignorance here, right? But I have zero respect for any company, any person that would ever produce a product that could be dangerous to children, knowingly. Yeah. Uh, unknowingly uh, okay there's like you know it's like when you take your kids to the to the uh restaurant with you and they're in a high chair and the person puts the big tall glass of glass water right next to the baby within reach and they just don't think about oh that's a baby that baby's going to reach they're going to grab the top they're going to pull it over they're going to sp spill ice water all over right yeah okay that's fine but it's it's a known fact. Let's take lead paint. <clears throat> like that made babies go crazy back in the day when they would chew on their cribs and it was filled with lead paint. There was that that was a thing. Like it is known that lead paint is dangerous to children. So anything, any product that is obviously dangerous to children. I've got choice words for those types of people and those types of companies would even like, like, yeah, this, yeah. This somebody, works. somebody on LinkedIn said, well, <laughs> goodbye, Temu and shine. You're going to be shut down. I don't know if it'll become that extreme, it. but <laughs> you know, <laughs> we, uh, we do take anything related to, to kids, uh, especially serious in this country. At least most people do. Most countries, they do. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it'll be it'll be interesting to watch and see where this goes. I mean, there's already been a lot of heat on closing the loophole for these guys. And now this is coming out as well. So I think that's going to pressure closing that loophole even more to make sure these are inspected and, uh, you know, more things from there, whether, you know, we've got the TikTok ban looming. We'll see what happens with that, whether oh, I haven't seen that with Tim Moon shine, you know, we'll see. Uh, you haven't heard about that with no. TikTok? No, so the I, I mean the old one, but it's but it's coming back around, huh? Yeah, no, it's it's still the same bill that was passed earlier oh. this year. It went through the House and the Senate, but it's got a deadline that's coming up. Mm. Uh, I forget exactly when it was, but it, it passed the House, the Senate. Joe Biden signed it, and they're going to have either to shut down or force a sale. Um, right. here coming soon. I, I think it's pretty quick. I'd have to search and find out exactly when it is. Well, but, maybe we uh, talk about that next week then. Yeah, perhaps the same kind of thing happens with, with Temu and Shine with a, a ban at some point. I don't know. It's hard to say, but um, yeah. definitely can't be having this kind of stuff. But at a minimum, you know, anybody out there listening, tell everybody you know, just don't buy stuff for your baby from these platforms. Yeah. Even Amazon, look at where the seller is from. If the seller is based in China, I wouldn't take that risk Me of neither. buying it for your baby. They got to be at least based in the U S so you got some kind of recourse. Yeah. 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 My, my wife has done extreme amounts of research on what products are actually safe for children. So like mm -hmm. to down to the point and, and, God bless her for doing this because it's, it's a chore, but all the way down to like, we have a lot of wooden toys, you know, so they're generational toys rather than cheap plastic. Um, yep. And some of them are, are dyed with like for red, it's like beets or something like that. And, and it's not even paint, you know? So I, there's a whole, what I've come to find is that there's a whole movement of mostly moms, right? M moms are the ones that really care for the children the most, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and, but there's a whole movement of moms looking for safe and, and non-toxic products. It's a non-toxic oh, yes. movement. That's all and we get. Yeah. So my wife has done so much research into that. And there are times where she comes to me and says, yeah, this, this thing tested as, you know, having lead in it. And there's this thing on, on YouTube about lead in our tumblers, you know, mm -hmm. um, I, I have a customer that said, yeah, those, those tests don't, they're not actually that great because he gets his products tested in the lab mm -hmm. and he has the results for it. So anyhow, I, I, I can't tell you how much I support the movement and I'll do what I can. I'm trying to get my wife to, you know, makes make this into something that she, she can share with other mothers because she's put so much time into it but yeah i babies are awesome so I wanna, oh yeah let's keep them alive and healthy you know yes for sure yeah one of the things that we look for whenever we buy products for our baby is a uh, green guard certified that's one of the oh, certifications that there's this certain set of, of chemicals and things that are not in the product Mm -hmm. um, it's not perfect. The green guard certification, there's still things that can be dangerous for babies that are not included there, but at a minimum, you probably want to look for that. Yeah. Uh, cool. That's good products that. are going to be more expensive. So, you know, yep. it is what it is just like organic and all that stuff. But if you can afford to do it, look for those certifications like green guard certified and, and there's other ones as well, I'm sure. But, that's one of the main ones here in the United States that you can look at. Uh, another thing that's actually I, I look at when it comes to the baby is products from Europe as well. Uh, because yeah. Europe actually has higher regulations when it comes to uh, baby products and formula and food and things like that. So a lot of times products from there are going to be even higher quality than products in the U.S., 